Templar does wonderful work in the mid lane and the has dream. stacks. I mean, that's like Snowball City Five right here for, for escape. Main. Sure, Snowball they have, City. They have Snowball Heroes, but it it is the same the other way around. Drow with that pushing power, Storm with that ganking power. Uh, this is a very okay, volatile early that. game, and we need to see exactly what happens. First out on the map, gonna be the Elder Titan as he drops down a ward. Do you? Moving up and around here, will he come all the way around to make sure he blocks he's the pole He's going places. Uh, he's going to go deep and get it up onto that high little pedestal, if you will. Could see any sort of incoming rotations from Escape, but Escape have actually taken their business all the way down and below to the bottom half of the river here. It, it's going to help show when Dazzle is moving between mid and safe lane as well, so they have a little bit more info on where he is exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, since he didn't see anyone, they should know at this point that Escape have five people down here. Um, I wonder if TNC are still going to take this fight, though. They're not that strong, level one. Yeah, it's not crazy good, but uh, oh, they, they're hoping they, for like what Alliance did to them, where they had to roll in and then can utilize something like the heal to, to burst back enough damage. I think Escape are much stronger than TNC here, so this is going to be uh, probably just Escape getting the bottom rune and uh, TNC. Oh, I'm surprised the Elder Titan hasn't walked for the rune yet. Uh, they could be at risk of possibly missing out on both right. runes here. No, they're they're swinging up for it. They're saying, okay, we'll just go. This is interesting. They could definitely have taken the bottom rune. Um, but maybe they got scared. They didn't know where Elder Titan was. And if Titan is there, uh, then maybe TNC is stronger, I guess. Begins. Well, we'll let that one go. Quite will snag up the rune there at the top. Yapsor heads back to assist with the block, as on TNC side, they already have Sam H there yeah. to put in the work. I wanted to mention this for Elder, uh, for Earth Spirit in the current meta. It's almost better on level 1, I feel. If you want to win mid lane, to just use this little spot over here, pulling the creeps into a tree line behind the tier 2 tower mid as Dire, uh, you can get the creeps stuck. Oh yeah, there are um, various spots you can get creeps you stuck You can get the, the creeps stuck there, you can get them stuck to the right, and just pulling away the range creep repeatedly, yeah. it actually Actually, auto wins mid. It's um, a strategy that I was using a lot when playing in the off lane. Ooh. There's plenty of spots there too. EU getting a lot of damage, but he did pull away the creeps though. Um, and is he delivering food to mid lane? I mean, he's heading right that way, but convenient for Cuckoo, he'd been Cuckoo shoving back quite Take my creeps, I guess. What the hell? Okay, so the mid lane got a lot more creeps now. Um, yeah, I suppose. It's off laner and mid laner both being happy here, farming together in peace. Uh, very awkward. I mean, that's that's a nice off lane. Roll in though from Yapsor here. We'll connect, but Kuku quickly drops down some spirits, and Yapsor is going to be the one eating the run of the damage. And that's the why punches. it's hard to play. This is why it's hard to play your spirit in this game now. That is EU. him being taken down. EU just punches him in the back with the briefcase. Yeah, there's one thing at least that's going for the TA. Normally, the biggest issue when you're TA in the early game is if the enemy has too many creeps, you can't really man fight. She has a million creeps. Okay, there. Some of them died. Half a million of them. Yeah. Um, but that was an interesting little mechanic there, running with the creeps to the mid lane. Storm is now going to outlevel the TA quite a bit. Yeah, I hope that doesn't end up biting him in the ass too much, but it looks like it's actually going to work out to their benefit. Back and below, TNC. And uh, their Drow Demon Silencer lane here. Kezu is still kind of flirting around a bit with 2CS to his name. And uh, indeed, Demon does have already the curse underway. We'll see oh, if yeah. he does continue to level it up. Demon, he knows. He's going to get a lot of points in the curse in this game. It's just way too good. Yep. Raven prepared. Already has six charges on his stick. Here's Yapsor, though. Ooh, swing and a miss on the roll, though. Uh, Gets off still the uh, boulder smash as he's level two. And Demon is in trouble. He's hit up with four, four stacks already. But oh, the slow God. the slow from Raven doesn't allow Yapsor to make chase. He needs one more second for the roll. Does he go for it? Yeah, oh. he was thinking about going for Demon even, trying to turn. But yeah, he's going to just back out here and be safe. Good play by uh, TNC, staying alive. They we're definitely in a hard spot. That's the problem, though, is for Earth Spirits, two, uh, two opportunities, and he's not going to be able to get a kill either way. So back to yeah. the grindstone here. Tactical suicide by the axe in the jungle. Just going to get back and get full HP and base and then TP out again. Yeah, we really haven't been uh, acknowledging the top lane too much, obviously, with axe forfeiting Man. the lane and heading straight to the <clears> jungle. <throat> it's been a free farm fest for Era on his timber with uh, Cinder nearby. Just kind of help him with the pool camp a bit. We saw this as well yesterday. The safe lane Timbersaw farming up, getting level 7 or so, and then swinging down to bottom lane. 
Do you think we're going to see the same thing here? Just, uh, you know, making that rotation when he has the levels? Yeah, at the time, what was it now? It was definitely a Huskar also against... Yeah, it, it was, was DC doing it against a uh, Huskar. Against Secret, Oh, Kezu yeah. goes down bottom lane Demon. Going to get the nod for that one. Unexpected, as maybe the Batrider just overextending a bit. Will be punished. It was in the DC Secret matchup. Yep. The last game of the day, we saw it. Yeah, we saw a Moo just have a lane to totally get farmed up on. He got Ooh, pretty mid. much level 8 while They're Huskar setting was up. 4. Kuku is a little bit too far out. Three yeah. people running, start for... running downward. The bowler smash will be there. And then the roll on down from Yaps. And quickly, he's surrounded by three. Sam's on the high ground, but he can't get down there to help out. Demon steps in now in hopes that maybe he can get a pickoff on a little cinder oh, support boy. here. Lots of damage. Needs a bit more. Is the curse going to be enough? No, no, it will not. He'll be fine. 20 HP Radiance to go. Just barely surviving. And we see oh, he uh, wants Demon. Yapsor, though. This region <laughs> room. Oh, oh, Yapsor. Yapsor. <laughs> What? I'm good. He figured he must have rolled away or something. Yeah. And he's leaving the region rune. Is Yapsu going to steal it? He's moving in for it. <laughs> Thank you, fool. Radiance. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Takes the region Yapsu. right behind him and could be heading that Kezu, way soon though. to gang him. And now it's Kezu in trouble. Hides up amongst the trees. And look who's back. A full HP and mana Yapsor. And Demon's like, where the hell did he come with? Full oh life and full mana. God. And ultimately God. takes him down. That Justice some, served. That's some of the sneakiest stuff we've seen in this group stage. Yapsor just hiding and then getting the kill on the silencer as well. That will be a fun one for Demon to check back on the replay. Man, he should have taken that uh, region rune on the way bottom. Jimmy. I didn't believe. Yapsor is the player. Left it out there for his uh, buddy Storm, but unfortunately it doesn't work out that way. Sam's hanging down here still nearby as he continues his grind. He's actually almost level 6. Sure. His Tranquil's complete. Kezu, careful, man. So much damage. Yeah, a support silencer hurts so much. Ow! Yeah, the heal is there. And in fact, Blades. without that heal, uh, he would have probably died. Yeah, he would have. Just barely. Demon is uh, running a bit low on mana. I believe before he had some clarities, he was happy to chew through, but uh, now he's kind of just got to nurse it a bit as he continues to pump some points into that curse. He gets the 2 1 1 buildup. So it's still a lot of stuff to use here. Sam uh, could have trouble approaching, possibly from behind. It's Yapsor who yeah, could scout them. Just a level 3 Earth Spirit. He's mostly just here to scout for now, but Kesu is coming in as well. That's the real danger approaching. Yes. See so if he begins Radiance to fly up and over here. Oh, Demon know. runs into him. Scary stuff. Yep. Zero science, sir. Cinderance here. Slows him down. Long roll in. We'll get him close enough for the connection of the boulder smash. If you right clicks to follow and silencer goes down. Uh, Jimmy has to be careful not to play too much on his own here. Samage coming in, though. Can he get anything here? He's trying to get close enough. Raven steps in and he gets the dunk. Oh, that movement oh. speed as well. They here have he the rolls. He's running on forward. Will he get close enough for the call? Yes, he will. A good kick back, but unfortunately, he's already been called up. He tries to go for the roll. Good play. Gets Did into the high ground. But oh, look oh, who's no. waiting for him. It's EU as he connects with the stomp and takes him down. Man, EU saw all that happening. He's like, okay, he's going to land over here. Got a spirit for him. Don't worry. Got it coming. Beautiful stuff by TNC. Good rotation there. That dunk from Axe is a serious thing. The movement speed. You can chase anyone down with a 30% bonus. Yeah, good heads up rotation there from Raven to be able to help out and allow that dunk to happen. But the other two lanes is where I feel like we have these sleeping dragons, though. Waga. Koikva continues his grind. He's at top of the net worth right now. He also has a triple stack now. In, uh, you know, by uh, regards of his team, it's Kezu and uh, indeed Sindran, who has been stacking up Ancients for him. Yep. Oh, bottom, we see a roll in on Raven. Raven, who is all alone here. Oh, no. She gets kicked right back into the posse of escape here. Tries to run down through the river, but there is nowhere to run. Yeah, you just died to that. And I must say, they have made the Earth Spirit work pretty well in this early game. Uh, normally, people struggle with it in the current patch. Mid lane, nice setup here, but can they really do anything? Doesn't look like it. No. Let the let one go. And you're right. I mean, that's the thing. is, It seems like with success or not, Yapsor continues Radiance to turn up the aggression on his Earth Spirit. If he, he doesn't seem to find one opportunity in one lane, it doesn't stop him from just moving on and finding a, a new opportunity elsewhere. I think Yapsor has really been an outstanding player in Escape as well. He always Radiance performs really well on his supports, I feel. Yep, Piranha, Earth Spirit, some of the Enigma. showings we've been seeing. Enigma. Hasn't seen that. Oh, we haven't seen that for about a while, but it's really good on it. 
And uh, Sam, though, also could be a big factor here for, for TNC. A little over 1K now. The blink is en route. But how about my boy Era up here? Continuing to just work with the full top lane yeah. is Timbersaw. It's got the Arcanes, the Soul Ring. He's making good time for, you know, heading into that early parts of the Bloodstone. Yeah, he really is. He's going to get a very good timing if it continues like this. And uh, Koikwa now moving over to clear the a Ancient Stack with the Radiant TA. Got the max point in Refraction. And uh, that's going to be pretty easy to get this quad stack Ooh, killed. Oh my god, how happy does this make you feel? I mean, this, oh, is, uh, just... this, this is just joy for me this to watch this. Great game here. Yeah, and they're doing a good job even using the illusions with the is shadow it wave. Too soon to tell if this is a straight to blink kind of a game or straight to deso kind of a game for TA. Oh, I would say straight to deso, but that's just because they they will probably be able to bring people close anyway. If you have stuff like stuns, shaker, sanking, Sven, Vench, you know, the more stuns you have that set up for you, you want to have a blink to follow up. But if you have stuff that brings them to you anyway, the kick from Earth Spirit, the pull from the lasso mainly, um, and all the slows they have, then you you might as well go DPS. And it's the greedier route which fits Koikwa, his playstyle. Yeah. Take a look over here. We can scope out some of the item progression uh, across the board for some of these players here. Uh, let's see, for Kazoo on his Bat Rider, you know, getting involved in a little bit. 1 1 1 record for him. Still, though, uh, we'll eventually have to buckle down and uh, probably blast his way towards a Blink Dagger if possible. I don't know if that entails of him grinding it out in the jungle nearby or just yeah. continuing to dedicate it to the lane bottom. They've been preparing a lot of stacks for the TA on Ancients, but no one has really cared about Kesu. I mean, he even stacked for TA as well instead of preparing for himself. So his Blink timing is going to be late probably, um, but they'll just have to work around that and just run people down instead. Um, I think very important is going to be this uh, Timber Saw. If he can stay alive up here, Against the storm and the silencer are looking to kind of kill them if they can. I think he should be fine though. The only thing is that Cinderin does not have a TP right now. The Dazzle cannot come in and help him. So, might be scary for him. What about for TNC's game plan overall? Now that we're getting closer and closer towards the mid game and the level sixes are starting to trickle in, you know, even for some of the supports. And uh, we haven't seen it too much really in this meta, but for once, you know, TNC have a lineup. And this kind of goes against what you were praising them for in their matchup against EG. They are a little bit cooldown dependent now with something like a silencer on their team. You know? um, yeah, silencer definitely a long cooldown. But again, I feel that they, they do not suffer that much from it. Elder Titan, very good at operating even without his ulti. And ulti is itself 100 second cooldown. That's not terrible. And those are really the only two cooldowns that you have, right? That and the Science of ulti. Storm, always ready to go. Drow, always ready. And same for Axe. So, I think the big thing for CNC, uh, TNC, when they get this Blink Dagger on Axe, so he can start setting up fights. Um, and he's at 1400 gold right now. Looks like we had a bit of a disconnect there, a crash on Cinderin's machine, but we are already back in action now and continue to see Koikfa grind his way through this mighty stack while Cinderin will be happy to sap up some of the XP along the way. Drow's push continues though in the bottom lane without too many uh, people present on the other side. She could make an advancement towards this tier one and secure some gold, not just for herself, but for the rest of the team. At the same moment, EU's been able to move in. He gets that ward down, spots out TA going for the ancient camp here, but it's already on the back end of being completed. Yep. He's not going to be able to stop anything, really, and uh, he has to be careful. Uh-oh, TA is going to run straight at him. Can find a way to turn the corner and make a stop? It's not going to be necessary. No chase will be had. Yeah, but the Tier 1 tower did go down to Raven, just casually pushing here, despite so many people being around. He uh, managed to snag up this tower, and no one's really defending top either as Cuckoo starts uh, farming up the small camp. While the creeps are pushing. That means if no one's defending top, air is on the move somewhere. We scope him out and catch him at the mid lane here and passing as he's gotten to his Ooh, level demon. 9 now. Oh. Catching out Kezu. Making a move in. Can he get a hold of the Bat Rider here? He is so slow, he can't even find a place to fly. There is a nice grave from Cinder to keep him alive and well. Yapsor makes his roll on in, but he's not level 6 yet, so no Magnetize will be offered. Quick counterplay comes out from Demon as he pops up the first global of the game, and that's oh, going to be no. enough. Secured for Sam. Now looking to go for more. Moves in. Gets the call to Quick by the spins, and no dunk necessary. The stop will be there, and Demon will pick up the last hit. TNC take their first real strong fight as a 2-1 to one split. Uh, this is what I was expecting to 
TNC during the drafting phase, just TNC being able to roll over Escape. And that was before having the Blink Dagger as well. And they're already looking to pressure a tier 2 tower a little bit. Dyer's it's very hard to keep anyone alive. We are going to see the TA moving in towards the Desolator buildup. Only one Mithril Hammer away, but uh, right now they're just so much weaker. They did get the kill on Storm, though, on the top lane, so... Um, I'm not sure. I think that was a solo kill by Tim Song. I would assume so. I didn't see the... Yeah, I didn't see anyone being there and helping him, so... That's kind of impressive. <laughs> I mean, Era has not really been with his team. He's been totally in greed mode, but he's hoping to unleash his fury soon enough, I'd imagine. I think that's the right... Game right style to have as well as Timbersaw in this game. If you're playing the safe lane Timbersaw farming up in the early game, you might as well go for the full Bloodstone before you really unleash everything. At that point, you'll be peaking much higher and, and you could rack in some serious charges fast. We'll, we'll Definitely. Have to see. Well, speaking about racking in charges, you know, there's some charges for your bottle on Cuckoo and he also gets the DD rune. So really good stuff. Could definitely look for kills or even uh, pressure that top tier one again. Really low HP. Yeah, he'll hang around top he has a TP in his pocket in case they need to set up elsewhere. And obviously with his ult, he would be able to make a jump in if necessary for Dyer's escape. Their approach is here in the bottom Radiant's where they're looking to make a go for that tier one attack. tower. Yeah, Radiant scanned them out and they have smoked up as well. So looking to take a kill or a fight right now. While they're getting the top tower, can uh, Storm TP in and they take Sam's a fight? Sam's Blink is successful in getting a grab for Kezu. Yapsor helps out, gets the silence for Demon, but the Global is already there with the curse. Now the jump into Cuckoo as he made that rotation in. They're going to quickly take out the Dazzle. Yapsor forced to roll away and hide. Can Koikpa make it out? Chase is on here from Cuckoo, but he doesn't quite have enough mana to get close. Nice little boulder smash will slow them down a bit, but doesn't stop EU. Goes for the stomp. Forces Quake put a step off to the side here. Air is here now. He hasn't really been able to be a presence yet for his team, but he's finally shown up to play. Very dominant fight again for TNC, taking the top tier one for free and then also winning the fight 2 0. So, really good stuff. And Escape just have to wait. At this point, you can't take the fight at all. You need to get your items before you fight. You don't have Blink Dagger on uh, Batrider, you don't have Desolator on TA, you don't have Bloodstone completed yet on Timbersaw. While he's very tanky, there's not much incentive to fight yet. Um, and of course, Syndrome has to be very careful about positioning against the Storm. Storm will always go for the Dazzle. Yeah. And uh, would be happy to try to force the Dazzle to grave himself too. It's it's a rough time for, for a little Dazzle on this one. And for you better sure. hope that when Escape finally find their time, find those items, and make a strike, it's going to be worth it now. Going against this Drow lineup, things are just so fickle. And I'm happy to see that Kezu's going to be grinding his jungle farm now towards that Blink Dagger. Yeah, he needs the money pretty badly. I think he's the one who uh, needs to get his item the most out of all of them, because uh, when he can catch Storm, and they can just try to lock him down, quickly kill him, it's not so easy for the Earth to land his spells without something to set up. Yep. Yes, maybe you can land a kick, but to catch the Storm... Uh, you kind of need Batrider to have his blink. All right, looks like Demon and Sam will go hand in hand up here to the top lane. He plants a ward, a nice little deep ward along the way uh, for the rest of Escape, hanging more to the, well, if you will, southern hemisphere of this map as uh, Koifu will meet up. What looks like with Era still persistent and possibly pushing down for this tier one on bottom. Yeah. Era's soul booster is now done. Koifu is only six, uh, 60 gold away from his uh, Desolator, so he's very, very close. And that's a big pickup. Uh, 14 minutes is definitely not a bad timing at all. So they could definitely look to take some fights now, maybe. The Bloodstone is flying out as well, so two big timings coming out on this courier. If they get that maybe Bloodstone, they get that Deso. Let's say they attack. take a fight, they win it pretty heavy Radiant's handedly. They can move back and get a Roche too, possibly. Yeah, too. they're back in the game and back yeah, in control. Right sure. now, they are behind 5,000 net worth and some 4,000 experience. But this could definitely swing here. Yep, they want to take a fight right here and now, win it, get the Roche, and just take the whole game back. Let's see if they're going to be able to do so. They're trying to flank in possibly from behind. Yapsor is in position here. TNC, oh, they actually up. moved. They move up north. Yeah. Move right on through Radiant's escape land. Smart, smart going towards the Cuckoo Dyer's Storm. And uh, yeah, Roche gets pinged out, so they're gonna look to take in the, the trade. Escape. Tier 2 for Roche, common one. Yeah, pretty good trade as well, because they still don't have Blink on Batrider, still don't have Blink on TA. You would love to have these two items as well. Um, 
TC or TNC already took that tier two Waga. They took it just as fast as they started Rose. They might actually get some good damage in the high ground. Yeah, they definitely could. While um, Escape are still trying to even go for the Roche. And of course they know what's up at this point. It's very obvious. No one is defending. Uh, you know Roche is dying. Yeah. Well, Yapsor will TP in along with two others here. Kick yeah. stones out. Obviously uh, not going to find a target. Yeah, half the HP is dead now on uh, that tower, so already a good push. With the Aegis picked up, I think he should be respecting uh, Escape here as TNC. Not yet, though. Raven is uh, greedy. He's already got some good damage on this Tier 3. Glyph is going to be forced out from Escape, so they don't lose it. Yeah, and, uh, well, if they keep pushing here, Escape are going to be very happy with that, because they're just, just short of a Blink Dagger. He could sell, sell his Raindrops, maybe? Okay, he sells his Windlace. Jump in. There it is, Sam. Gets the grab for Era. Tries to pull him back. A jump in from Cuckoo on top of the global. Can they get Era out? They can. Oh, man. He's not even going to be able to make the first successful team fight happen here. And now Yapsor follows up. They're going to get off the Magnetize. There's the lead in. Kezu gets the lasso. Pull back on the Raven. They'll be able to take out the Drow. First positive upswing here for Escape, it feels like, as now they make the move for EU. Slow him down with the poison. I mean, TNC just gave it to them. They jump into their base when they have Aegis. They have a lot of timings coming up. So, great time to just go, and they're chasing after here. Run, run, run. He is quick, but with the stacks, with the next TA trap, I believe he's not going anywhere. Nope. Sam was hanging around. I'm like, is he really considering stepping in to assist his Elder Titan friend? No, he gets shot down. Koifu will pick up that last hit. Yeah, and that's going to lead to a pretty natural tier 1 push as well, which uh, is going to be really quick with a... Um, with a TA death later. Stealths are bottle at 16 minutes. All right. Not keeping up. Okay. I would have uh, sold my race back instead of the bottle, but quick uh, no love for the runes. More love for the uh, stats and agility, I guess. Yeah. Uh, bad love. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, is also unfortunate. Era's uh, Bloodstone debut is just him losing some charges right away. I think he's able to bounce back, though. Oh, they're TPing in as well. TNC, they want to defend this. Let's see. The lead in call, though, is not going to be there. Yeah, great blink there. Just barely avoiding getting caught. And uh, Era going to get slowed down, but able to jump away. I think TNC have to respect escape a little bit more than they did in that push, though. They. They jumped in with Axe into the enemy base 40 seconds after they took Roche. And you know they're going to have a little surge of money, a little surge of confidence with that Aegis as well on the TA. It, it was just a, a very undisciplined initiation that backfired pretty hard on them. We'll see if it's going to be a lesson learned. Escape not, not waiting one bit here. They smoke up and go on the move. Cuckoo's on the high ground. Nice quick silence there from Yapsor. Catches out Cuckoo with the grip. They time it out nicely with some extra burst in the stun, and the storm is going to be taken out of the equation. He will also lose some charges fast. Demon going to get bumped back with the flame break, and now they pursue him. Silence stops Era from moving in along with the stomp. Demon makes it back in a way. A good Earth Splitter, and look who's shooting down. Raven comes in, looking to go for Koipa, and they got the dunk through the refraction. Sam's going to be right there. Era also in trouble. That's a dunk, too. Sam makes it a two for now, and it's going to be escape on the ropes. They got to get back, but they can't. Sindra's going to get shot down next. Beautiful play, and they're jumping in deep. Cuckoo trying to get anyone he can catch, really, on the Storm Spirit, but not quite in time as they get out. We'll get them to tier one, and they are going to keep moving forward while they got this momentum swing. Yeah, the TA missed his melt strike on the on Jimmy there, so that's why he managed to live. He would actually have died for that melt minus armor. Very uh, crucial, crucial little mistake. He steps in though. He gets a wonderful stomp, and then yep. Sam seems to show up just in perfect time for able to clean up. Raven as well from uh, from the north coming in with those arrows, helping out. Yeah, they're playing really good, TNC. Just their team play is really good. That's a team fight plus two towers. That shifts the momentum even more in favor of TNC as they push past the 5k mark. XP about the same. And uh, with that, can take a moment to breathe and we'll reevaluate the situation and, well, itemize appropriately. They have all this funding. I'm yeah, see, uh, there's a, a lot of items that are going to come into TNC's uh, items now, uh, inventory right now. Because uh, EU has 2,100 golds, and he's going to go for a Midas, in fact, on the Elder Titan. Want to get those levels up early. Oh, wow. It is a hero that benefits really well from the levels. I'm going to give him that. But I think Veil would still be a better choice. Um, even though they don't have the best magic damage, I suppose. Storm always adds quite a bit of it, though. Um, and it would be nice for the, the ulti, of course, of the Elder Titan. Looks like they'll... 
pass on that for now, though, and play the more greedy kind of a game while yeah. Max trucks on in. Nothing wrong with that. He's almost got a Crimson Guard. Oh, he opts for the Blade Mail instead. Why is it straight out? Yeah, I think some games, Blade Mail is so much more value than going for the Crimson Guard, and this could be one of them. When you're against a TA, sure, she can refract to block the Blade Mail, but every single attack that she throws back is going to kill one refraction for you, right? Yep. So it's just one more way to quickly get rid of it. And uh, also heroes like Timbersaw, they can't really avoid dealing damage in AoE, and that's great for Axe, returning all of that. Cuckoo able to string together a couple of charges after losing them initially here. Suddenly got about nearly 2k gold. Is it right to the Orchid, probably, um, for him? I would build that, yeah, for sure. You can also go Lincolns against the Batrider if you're scared of Lasso at all. Um, but I think there's nothing wrong going uh, Orchid in this game, even though you have plenty of silences. The only risk with that would be that when enemy gets PKB timings, you're going to be a little bit weak, and you need to m make sure to play around that. He's looking aggressively for anything here, but uh, this is not the place to jump, Cuckoo. Hope he knows. <laughs> he sees he sees in the red as well now. He's thinking about it though. No, not a, not after seeing the dazzle begin. He has a ward in their base, so he actually sees them. Sneaky little ward, this one. Yeah. She's still standing there though. Can't help but feel a bit intrigued as far as what the game plan seems to be. The rest of his team are making waves though. He might be just waiting for them to shift their momentum all the way to that bottom lane where pressure's coming. And then go for maybe a quick pick if possible, but... Yeah, they're drawing a line to smoke up the top lane and uh, move together. He sees them running back now. And that ward had been taken out by the way, so now Storm will be a bit in the dark. They see the storm, and TA is moving towards him a little bit. Uh, she's going to meld and hide for now, but they're just going for the high ground push, I think. Yep. TNC once again, back here. here they got that draw line up. They're playing with the clock a bit and want to use this momentum while they got it here. And yeah. Raven goes to work. Tower's Tier already solo HP from it the previous push. is gone. So now Rax is going to be exposed here. We'll see if TNC can close out their first real base damage. Going for the mellow one. Very confident move. Going for the range one afterwards. Sinarin moving forward here. No weave. It's already committed. And yeah, more wards being now thrown down. Okay, they'll take care of those. Yeah, they're a little bit scared to go into this full fight. And it's moments like that that you should be hitting the range racks. Those uh, six hits they got in on the melee racks right now, they're not going to mean much at all if you back out. Whereas if you focus the range racks, they die very quickly. Yeah. The range racks. And you have a draw in your team, so. The range creeps are worth a lot. Not looking to give up on this push yet. TNC, wait for the new wave. Still going. All, uh, we see a smoke. Escape with Saw the... this a couple of times in their matchup against Alliance in game number one in particular. Let's see if TNC are going to be ready for it. Doesn't look like it. They make the move for Demon right away so they can get the global off the playing field. He still manages to get it off right before he dies, but the damage may have already been done here. It looks like TNC were able to make their own jump to get Kenzu down. And now they look back for Era. Era gets the grave to keep him alive, but they couldn't dump him down, so he's going to be good and help finish out Raven. Makes his way back into the base. Sam. H will be the next target here as Koifa shoots him once, but they don't get the finish. Now they will. He looks Perfect for the next hold. target, and that's it. Only EU will survive, and he makes a quick retreat back to base. A wonderful hold from Escape. Yeah, really great. And we saw this against the Lions, as you managed to say there in the beginning as well. They are really good at doing this. When the enemy push high ground, they just pick the right moment to swing around, go on the back line, and just getting a good target. Even with that silence ulti coming out, they still get a good fight from it. Man, just a good execution from Escape, and they, they seem to know their timing very well. And with that shift in momentum here, Escape can confidently move themselves back out from the base, stretch those arms out one more time, and feel a bit more relaxed and progress to the next big hit, which we got Koifa building up now as BKB. We were just on Era, who is going to be grabbing up that Lotus Orb to help at least oh, not deal fight. with that silence. New fight breaking out. It's Yaps. We're getting pulled back in, but a quick shutdown. A demon is going to be there, and Cuckoo has to get the hell back. Uh, it doesn't have much mana after that, so probably not going to do too much after it. Roshan is up. The TA trap has got it, uh, spotted. And so. Koifa goes in and goes to work. It looks like the second Rosh could go the way of escape. TNC are not nearby to have an answer. And Look at that experience graph, by the way. Just plummets <laughs> right back down towards what escape happens. side. You disrespect, you know, escape. You go high ground in a very confident fashion, but I don't think you should when Roshan is about to respawn soon anyway. Oh, they actually can't finish it in time here, Waga. They get it just below half of its life, but here's Sam now. 
strutting his stuff. Yeah, maybe they can take a fight here, TNC. Science are ulti in 15 seconds. Going Nobody. against the Storm and Elder Titan, you gotta be careful. Ooh. It's gonna be Kezu who makes the first move to pull back a big fat target. And Sam right here, can they burst him down in time? It looks like they will. Raven runs forward, gives some shots on Dazzle, and Cuckoo makes the full commitment. Looking to go for Yapsor, but he gets the grave, and he's gonna be fine. Now they're looking for Sindarin. Heads up to the high ground, and that's gonna force Cuckoo back in away. They do get the fish oh, on the Yapsor, and a big splitter will help take down Koikma. Kezu's in trouble. He's also gonna get dropped as Raven against two and load. A huge fight for TNC. And they'll move into the pit and take the Roche for theirs. Wow. EU has been such a monster in this game. That splitter was just perfect. That ruined everything for escape. They got caught out and didn't manage to get close and personal with his Rao Ranger. At the game that uh, Lasso and Axe, sure that looked good to begin with, but he just buys back, comes back in. Actually, I, did he even die? I'm not sure he even died. I, I think he didn't bought back. Too many people died. Uh, yeah, he bought back. Well, grabbing the Axe was... Uh, Good in the beginning, but turn around really hard. Yeah, it takes so much muscle power. And by that point, they're not going to have anything left. And look at this, TNC already now moving forward inside Escape Home. Going right for the racks they were starting on before. A jump and call by Sam. Trying to get to someone out of position here, but not going to be able to do so. Raven not going to be able to finish. Oh, nice. nice. Two-man boulder smash and geomatic grip coming out from Yapsor on that one. Forces Raven back. Sam, though, stuck inside. Tries to go for the dunk, but mistimes it here. Aaron's going to be fine once again. And quickly retreats out in the back of the timber chain. Quick Puck gets the finishing blow, taking out Sam. And now we're looking for for more. Tries to get Demon. Courier in a bit too deep. Quick Puck could be caught out. Hides. No detection. They can push they him out, though. They gust him back out. He's going to be silenced. He tries to run away back home, but the shots come out from Raven as he shoots him down. Aegis Storm Russell respawning now. Cinder in. Makes it back to base. Is he going to go for a dazzle? He's going. Boom! Get over here, Cinder in. Got him! Oh, oh God. Lasso redemption for Kezu. <laughs> definitely worth. Oh, vicious strike right there to the heart of escape. Man, they managed to turn it around so much. Back and forth, this fight goes. Uh, that was the second time that Sam H tries to get a call on, uh, or um, a calling blade yeah. on the... Oh, we might see more here. Era. Era. Speaking of which, this time though, woo -woo, makes it back away. Look at this. Yeah, sword jumps in from behind, gets a casual two-man stun in silence, and then hops back out. Uh, no lasso available though. I'm not sure they can catch anyone here. Oh, look at that throw. oh my god, look at the damage. He can't make it away. One more shot would do it. He gets him. Era. Yeah, can he him Raven. Raven gets off another wonderful silence. And he manages to force himself up and over the hills. Now Demon in trouble from Era. Raven still finds a good spot and continues to unload the damage here. They shoot down Era. Yapsor forced to retreat. But Cuckoo says, you're not going anywhere, my spirit brother. And makes his own chase. Yapsor goes down. Yeah. TNC domination yeah. continues. And that is really, really hurting Escape now. Dying again after already losing Irax and losing the team fights. Man. I don't have time to point out that Sam H made any mistake. They immediately just kill more of Escape, and I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna mention it. It's fine. We scratched that, Sam H. And then maybe TNC can finally go, hey, what can we do with this money now? I'm looking at freaking Storm Spirit. He's got 5.2k gold. They don't have time to spend money. They're going right back in for more objective gaming. I was thinking that as well during that team fight. Like, oh, I wonder what he's gonna buy when he actually has time to breathe. They're like, we don't have time to buy. We just gotta go, go, go. Yeah. And Raven is doing so for his team. They get the tier three. They're even gonna get the melee frag. They get that okay, two. Sam jumps in. They get their instant dunk. They take quick fire of the fight. Waga, this one could be over sooner than later. Yeah, definitely. That blade mail call so good, even against the BKB. Another call, another kill. This time the dunk connects. A double kill for Sam. Era on the sidelines for 50 seconds. And they call and it, it is over. TNC take game number one of this two-game stretch against the skate. Yeah, beautiful play by TNC. They were dominant. I think this game I'm actually gonna call quite a lot of an outdraft though. I think TNC even made quite a few remarkable mistakes against Escape, and Escape had a lot of cute little plays, but it's very hard to play out these drafts. Uh, it's just early game domination from TNC, and you got to see your silencer pick.